Three years ago, when Batman mysteriously disappeared, it divided the city. How did it divide the city? Into those that want him back because he helped stop crime, and those that are happy because they're criminals? I guess I can see that. Some see fear. Okay, so people are scared now that their caped crusader is no longer watching over them. All right, I can see that. Others hope. Okay, why would people see hope when their city's protector leaves them? The hope for what? That the police will rise to the challenge? That the government decides to decrease some legislation so crime isn't so rampant? How exactly do people see hope now that Batman is gone. I see the freedom to be myself. How the heck was Batman preventing you from being yourself? Now that he's gone, you can be yourself? Are you a criminal, maybe? To play by my own rules. Playing by... Okay, so you're a criminal. Of course, Kate Kane's actions to steal Batman's mantle is the act of a criminal. For example, here's Bane stealing Batman's mantle when Batman wasn't around. Of course, Bane didn't literally break into the Batcave, he had the resources to make his own Batsuit. He also had the skills and power to take over the Talons and use Talon as his own Robin. This is a canon story in the forever evil comic, The Arkham War Arc. Bane, being a criminal, does this on his own accomplishments. Batman then returns and brings him down. If Batman does return, I highly doubt the story writers would let Batman bring Kate Kane down. Just... Call it a hunch. I spent 15 years searching for a place I fit. And all this because Batman left and you stole his identity. Now you fit. Okay, couldn't you have done this like three years ago? And I finally found it. No, you stole it and all because Batman walked away. This is not empowering toward women. This is detestable behavior. Batman may be guilty of trespassing, breaking and entering, destruction of property and assault, but he does it to stop criminals because the police aren't sufficient, because he's been traumatized from his childhood and wants to stop children from growing up without parents. If Kate Kane really wanted to be Batwoman or another vigilante in Gotham, all she had to do was do it or ask Batman. There's plenty of crazies running around town. Batman really doesn't mind the, the extra help. She didn't have to wait 15 years to become a thief. And why did she wait for three years while Batman was gone? What was she doing these three years? Planning how to break into Bruce's house? Trying to see the freedom to be yourself, a.k.a. the Batman? I guess this inciting incident, you know, your ex-girlfriend getting kidnapped, came a bit too late in the story for some reason. 